Hey guys, RC here. We are back. Draft Day Sports Pro Football, Episode 4, Season 7. Don't forget, still in the middle of our giveaway contest for a copy of this game from Wolverine Studios. All you have to do, hit that like button and leave a comment in the video. So this video will count. Go do that right now if you want to be entered for a copy of the game. The drawing will be on Christmas Eve. Uh, might be the next day, just depends on what I've got going on with the holidays. But, uh, you know, we'll get that game to you between uh, Christmas and New Year's. But uh, if you have any other questions, look in the video description for the rules. Uh, you can also go back and look at Season 7, Episode 0, uh, where we talk about the giveaway in particular. But let's get into the work today. I just finished putting in all of the um, contract extensions. Also... I noticed I am in the last year of my deal and I have not gotten an offer yet so we'll see we'll see if uh, maybe maybe they will fire you um, so this could be short-lived <laughs> but anyway short-lived I mean I'm in my seventh season so I guess it's not really short-lived I just don't know what we'll do to have more episodes to uh, forgive for the giveaway but we'll figure something out all right, uh, let's see. So we are week 13. We're going to finish the season today. We're going to get into the playoffs, uh, which may be real quick for us. All right, we're playing the G-Men. They are all struck. The entire division is struggling. All right, we beat them 33-26. That's not real reassuring. Prescott goes for over 300 yards again. Gerald Watt with a touchdown run and a three-yard touchdown run. Sterling Shepard still playing. Cool. Prescott, 18 of 23, 339 and a score. Watt, 13 for 42, two touchdowns. Cooper and Ship both go off for over 100 yards. That's nice. All right, we got a lot of emails. All right, training report. So we want to start looking at the training report. If you didn't see last episode, go check it out, right at the end especially. But I created a new training schedule only for the quarterbacks. And I was wondering if that may entail tweaking how they develop and getting better arm development, you know, whatever. So uh, I'm recording these back to back, so haven't had time to see, but... I do want to look and see if the quarterback starts showing up in here a little bit more. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to just delete from the top, I suppose. All right, he signs. All right, Denmark signs. Good. Boswell. McCarter. Woo, Garza. Furious. All right, he signs. All right, Knowlton has not looked at it yet. My nephew hasn't made a... Uh, all right, Frank Rose and Caleb. All right, well, so we've got a bunch of guys. I'll go back and relook at them, uh, but it won't be right now. All right, simulate the week. Come on. Oh, yes. Thank God. And it doesn't matter that we had a 500 record. We just got all better against the Redskins, and that is all that matters. If you're a Cowboy fan, you know what I'm talking about. As long as we beat those guys, everything else is better. 45 to nothing. Cooper, a 70-yard pass. Ship, 19. Ship, 6. Knowlton gets on the board. And Francis Oaks with a couple of touchdowns. So Prescott, 14 out of 17, 258, three touchdowns. Oaks, 13 out of 15, 126, and two touchdowns. Very nice. Watt, our running game is really struggling, man. Six catches for Knowlton. That's pretty impressive. Liking that. All right, let's see. So everybody, none of the other two guys signed their contract. All right, let's check the standings real quick. Seven and six, we've opened up a three-game lead with three left to play. And the Eagles are the only one that can catch us. 
All right. Nerves, nerves. Oh, man. 30 to 6 loss to the Cheeseheads. Prescott, no touchdowns. Yuck. That's an ugly game. That is an ugly game. All right, let's. Oh, wait, here we go. Francis Oaks passing. So that's the first quarterback to appear on the list since the new training. Now, we had seen him show up in last episode a couple of weeks before we finished last episode. And he improved in agility. But I don't care about agility in my quarterback. I want his arm strength, his accuracy, and his intelligence. And so not sure what passing does. Let's go look at him. All right, so we're going to go into the roster. There's Oaks. Let's look at his ratings progress. All right, so arm. That might be a slight tick up here. And it looks like we did get a tick on the accuracy. So that could be a tick up in accuracy because intelligence looks pretty flat. But it looks like accuracy has crossed over. So I think this could be a lot better. You know? I think maybe they could have like a week by week thing or, you know, whatever. Um, or actually use numbers. I don't know. Got to be something that's a little easier to interpret than all that. But it is what it is. All right, let's go into contracts. This will drag things out a little bit, but we need to take a look at it. Jones, I had decided to let go. All right. Um, so Knowlton wants a little more money. Knowlton is down towards the bottom. There he is. So he's making 300. I don't remember what I offered him. But now he's asking for 750. So let's go ahead and submit that. All right. And that'll take care of him. All right. Robert Pratt, that's the punter. Three hundred, three sixty. I think I offered him more than that. Let's do five twenty. Four years. Okay. Next one is James Pritchett. Now Pritchett's making some decent money. I think. Yep, there he is. One point six. He is a starter. Not a full-time starter, but, you know, good enough. Um, he's making one six now. I don't think he's going to take a pay cut. So if we offer him a two-year deal, and we're going to go balanced. All right. That takes care of him. Garza. There's Garza. I actually like Garza. If we look at his blocking, I mean, he's 73 and 60. It's not great. Strength is flatlined. Pass blocking. Pass blocking? No, pass blocking is gray. That's flat, and run blocking is flat as well. But... So again, I'm wondering if maybe putting something more strength related on these guys. Maybe. I don't know. He's making 345. I've got him as a rotational. Uh, let's do two years at seven. And let's go with that. Just a few guys right now. All right, week 16. Home game against the Giants. 21 to 9. I can't really say I'm really happy because, as we said, the whole division sucks. All right, Prescott, 26 out of 37, 308, three touchdowns. 
Cooper got one. Ship got two. Cooper with 130 yards again. Three extra points for Boswell. Pratt, six punts for 240, 40 yards uh, average. All right. Scouting. Player report. Losing. All right. Knowlton still not liking it. Pratt signs. Pritchett signs. Garza signs. And none of our quarterbacks are in there. All right. So Garza signed. Frank Rose. Wayne Smith. He's the only other one I think I want to look at. Now, Smith actually has really good run blocking, and he has been a starter. So, all right, let's go ahead and offer him that. I don't know if that's going to get him, but it's starter. He's a starter, so I'm willing to pay the guy. Have we clinched, have we clinched a playoff berth? Yes, we have. So we're 15, so we've clinched the NFC East. We will be the low team in, well, maybe not. Seattle and San Francisco. And then we'll have Green Bay and the Buccaneers as the wild cards. Ooh, that's going to be down to the wire. All right. Philadelphia. Oh, show games. Oh, man. Oh. oh, God, I hate losing to those guys. All right, so we finish 8-8. Eight and eight. That's horrible. Coming off a 14-2 and two season, a six-game sling. That's not good. All right, Gerald Watt, Dak Prescott to Derek Weathers. Mark Patton scored twice for the Eagles. Yeah, just not, not too much good in there. All right, so we're done there. Let's look at our standings. All right, so Detroit's in. Packers are in. Buccaneers, oh, the Buccaneers jumped over the Saints. Saints get the wild card. We're number three. And Seattle got in. San Francisco stays home. Look at that. Look how many points the Niners scored. Man, we were so close to just breaking even. That's That's horrible. How about over in the American League? Uh, American League, like we're baseball. The AFC. When it says American, that throws me off. The AFC. Cleveland's in at 9-7. and seven. Indianapolis at 11-5. and five. All three of the other South teams go 9-7. and seven. Patriots at 12-4. and four. Bills get in with a 10-6 and six record as a wild card. Chiefs are in. And... Texans edge the Jags and the Titans for the second wild card. Wow. Okay. So that's interesting. All right. So we have the Saints and the Seahawks, Packers and the Cowboys. They just beat us pretty badly. Texans, Chiefs, Bills, Browns. I don't like our odds here, fellas. Don't like the odds. Yep. And we get eliminated 20 to 17. Uh, only 12 first downs, not even 300. We got outgained by, what's that, 130 yards, 43 yards rushing. God, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to maybe tr make some free agent signings for some blockers. Running backs are not, and, and it's hard to judge. Do my running backs suck or is it because my line sucks? But we're pretty much the same line. Let's look at our depth chart. I mean, Collins, he's a returner. Smith, pretty sure he's a returner. Flores is definitely a returner. Zach Martin's a long... Yeah, we've got the same line as last year. So there's really nothing there. Man, there's really nothing there to explain why we did why we're doing so poorly all right well let's go ahead and finish out so uh the saints beat the buccaneers by three after they took care of the seahawks 
Lions beat the Packers in a divisional game. So the Lions and the Saints in the NFC title game. Chiefs lost to the Texans by two, and then the Texans take out the Colts in a high-scoring affair. Bills crushed the Browns and then got shut out by the Patriots. Patriots and the Texans in the AFC Championship. Texans beat the Patriots, Lions beat the Saints, and we'll have a repeat champion this year. High-scoring affair, Detroit Lions 41, Texans 34. Wow. All right, well, what I'm going to do is uh, we don't really do anything with the Pro Bowl. Um, the season awards, I guess we can do that. Deshaun Watson wins. Because I don't do anything with that. So Deshaun Watson, league MVP. Yeah, I wish that I wish that would just be something. I, I'm assuming that's already done by the AI, but we'll see. All right. I want to go back into contracts, maybe take a look at a couple of last minute players, uh, if I can re-sign them before we flip over. And I want to do that before the Pro Bowl. So guys, hit that like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like and make a comment. Uh, if you want to enter the giveaway for a free copy of this game, uh, check out the details for the giveaway in the video descriptions uh, anywhere here in Season 7. We also have a standalone video on that. So good luck to everybody. Uh, looking forward to giving that away to somebody for Christmas time. And, uh, oh, this season sucked. Um, again, I have not been re-signed. So, yeah. I don't know. Well, let's see. You know what? I'm at 17 minutes for the episode. Let's keep it going. I want to go in and I don't really like doing contracts on, on camera because they can be boring. Uh, Harlow. Yep, I'm going to let you go. Ruiz. He has not gotten off of the... Uh, Yeah, he hasn't even played. I'm going to let him go. That's a million dollars. Um, Brown. I'd like to re-sign him. I don't want to pay him a million dollars, though. Can I get him for nine ten? Maybe. Um, Vasquez, I'm going to let go. Hands, yeah, he has he has great hands, no speed, and I don't think he's playing very much, if at all. Yeah, six targets for the year. I'm not gonna not gonna pay you for that. Uh, Knowlton, however, only 150 yards, his worst season in four years. That'll be my last offer to him. All right, Nelson. This was the guy that we recruited, that we uh, drafted with strength, but not real speed. 65, yeah. I'm going to let you go. Rose, I don't think I'd mind keeping. God, I don't want to pay him $2 million, though. Yeah, I'm not going to offer him that much. I'll offer him 1.4. If he doesn't take it, he can walk. Smith, Smith, I do want to re-sign. And Trinidad. Really don't want to offer a fullback. I'll do a one-year 990. All right, so let's go ahead and... Advance to the Pro Bowl.
Prescott made the Pro Bowl. 40, well, we'll look at stats. 44-28, 27 touchdowns. So not a bad year, right? Not a bad year. 24-19, Prescott led the, led the game and lost the game. Kind of like last night against the Patriots. All right. Uh, well, you're gone. You're gone. Okay. Rose signs. All right. Well, we'll just delete everybody else. And we'll go to end the season. No emails. Start the season. Okay, let's go look at our staff. Have we always been in a? Maybe we have. Maybe we're just, maybe we don't get fired. Maybe. I don't know. All right, well, that's cool. Uh, so we're going to keep that. These guys are under contract for two to three more years. I was worried about that. That's what I wanted to make sure. I was still going to have a job coming into the next season. Um, yep, we're finished with that stage. And that stage. All right. Um, running back, guard, tackle, wide receiver, linebacker, defensive line. So we got a lot of needs this year, six positions. Hmm. And I like to build through I like to build through free agency, not really. I like to build through the draft. <laughs> uh profile. Okay. So that is what it is. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do free agency and scouting. Uh I am going to look at something new in scouting that we did this past draft and see if it works, and then we'll talk about it when I come back and do the actual draft. So free agency will be done. Uh, we will start season eight, which will continue the giveaway into season eight. Uh, we will continue the giveaway every episode up until Christmas Eve. Uh, now, uh, so don't forget, like button, comment. It takes both of those to enter the contest. And we'll see you guys next episode and next season. Take care. Bye.